Oh no, my hands are full and I need to open the back of the car. Yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. So today we are getting a late start because we've just been working on so many things this morning, but we're finally about to head out and work on getting all the prep done for da -da -da -da, the lime green bathroom. So we have so many plans for this. I'm gonna turn you guys around and kind of tell you our plans and what, we're, what we need to get up for this. Okay, so walking into the space, you can of course, see that bright, bright lime green color. You do have really old outdated fixtures and um, faucet. There's no hardware on the vanity and the vanity is just kind of like that 2000s. I don't remember what color that is, but you know what I'm talking about. We are gonna be doing this on a budget. So we're keeping the countertop, keeping the vanity, all that stuff. Obviously also keeping the flooring, but we are going to kind of like refresh the space. So we are gonna be painting the vanity and we're gonna be using Beyond Paint. I used that up in Montana and I loved it. I'm planning on just using the white paint for this, but I don't know, I've been going back and forth on that. And then I think we're just gonna do black faucet, black hardware, things like that, because that's kind of what we've done around the rest of the house. So I think we're gonna kind of keep that cohesive. Although I have been playing around with using like a bronze or gold color. We're gonna try and just use a circle mirror that we already have. It's just from Ikea, but it's pretty large. We already have it, so that's better with cost savings. But I, I feel like my mind is so all over the place with this. Like I've had a lot of time to think and sometimes that's good and sometimes it just gives you more time to think of new ideas and then you have to narrow it down and I'm not. <laughs> narrowing it down very well. So a few ideas we have are to do like a board and batten right when you walk in along this back wall, just to give a little interest back there. And then we are for sure gonna do some DIY shelves up here, one for storage and two, we can add like some plants and you know, some cute little things in there. Behind the mirror, we had either thought of a few different options. One, we could paint it like a darker, moodier color like behind the mirror. And then also on this side behind the toilet area, or I thought we could go a little bit more simple and then just like bring in more color and things like that with pictures and like you know plants and things like that and that option is to actually do like a stencil but it'd be more like a DIY stencil on the back wall just behind the vanity and that would either be done like with a sponge or I would just freestyle it and paint it. So I'm just not sure kind of which way to go or if like doing that would be too much with the board and batten. I don't know. We'll figure it out as we go. If you guys have any thoughts, let us know in the comments. I have a list on my phone, like all the things that we're planning to do in there and then all the things that we need. Like we have, you know, a lot of paint. I did order a few things on Amazon, like the light fixture and, you know, and different stuff like that but we still need to pick up a few things. So I have all of that saved on my phone, thankfully, otherwise I would not remember anything that we need to get. So I think we're gonna, I'm gonna find Kyle, there he is, and then we'll head out. Da -da -da -da. Let's go. And would you look at this? It's a minivan. <laughs> it's ugly. Surprise. Actually, so we didn't end up getting rid of the Land Cruiser. It's been getting kind of small. It gets bad gas mileage. Great car, just family of five. Wasn't the boys really... are getting squishy in yeah, it. Yeah, it was just time to go for it. So we actually been looking for a minivan for a while, even though they're uncool and like, you know, I'm a fat dad with a minivan now. Like, you know, I get all that, but the convenience factor is just so insane. It's so convenient. The hybrid gets 36 miles to the gallon and they're super hard to find. The waiting list here in Phoenix, it's like a year and a half to get one of these. Yeah, I am not a fan of the color. Red is like my least favorite car yeah. color. <laughs> it wouldn't be my first choice in color. Somebody ordered this like eight months ago. It came in off the truck. I can't remember if they couldn't qualify for financing or they didn't want it or whatever. Luckily, we were the first people at the dealership and got it. We're it's minivan okay. people again. It's okay, yeah. I'm not cool, I get it. We took it for a quick test drive and there were people there waiting to see if we bought it and if we didn't buy it, then they were gonna buy yeah. it. Like there was literally like people in line like waiting to, to buy this thing. Who would have guessed that there would be like a waiting line for, for, Toyota for a minivan? I know. And you know what? 
We love it. I fall in love, more in love with this car every day. At this point in my life, like I just want to be comfortable. I don't care about being cool. So now we're going to be comfortable. Yeah. It, uh, yeah. <laughs> if you're thinking about getting a minivan, get one. Yeah. yeah. We no longer have our side by side, our Razor. Our Razor that we just got. That like, we just got in March. Yeah. We no longer have it. We Not just by choice. That. Not by choice. But there needs to be some things that take place before I want to make a video on it. So hopefully <laughs> next week. It's a crazy, it's a, well, it's not that, yeah, it's weird. Anyway, yeah. you'll see it then. We'll tell you all about the Razor yeah. soon. I beckon, beckon to the call of the minivan again. Because <laughs> we used to have one. Yeah. Back when we lived in Georgia, we had one. When Back Luke when Liam and, was a baby. Yeah, Luke and Liam were both in car seats and we had a Corolla. No, we had a Camry. And the Camry got a little too small so we actually got a minivan yeah then we bought the foreigner because yeah. that, that was after i had i went through postpartum depression and that was like my car like we share our cars but it was like right. my main car right and i was like i need something cool yeah. <laughs> something like for me and it was amazing still like i love that car so much and yeah. then we swapped it out for the land cruiser because that was a little bit bigger Land cruiser was a little bigger than the forerunner yeah. and then we ultimately went back to yeah and then we were like all right we're ready for like true practicality. Yeah, this is as good as it gets. I think we should go to Home Depot first because that's going to be like the big planning. Okay. And then maybe we can stop by Home Goods just for like some small things. If we have time, we can go to Costco, but we're running a little late today, so we'll see. Yeah. And then we do need to stop by the storage unit to look at that mirror. So. Is it the storage unit? The mirror, yeah. That's what else we need to do, like get on the calendar. Yeah. It's the storage unit. It's been on the calendar and it keeps getting pushed. I know it's been on the calendar for like a year now. One. Actually, it probably hasn't been any. Well, yeah, not a year. It's probably been. It's been since like the summer. It's been months and yeah. months, yeah. Like sometimes because the schedule has to get pushed and sometimes because we're like, I don't want to do, I don't that. do that today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, do you feel like, like doing I'd rather that? do something else instead. Anyway, we still have to even figure out like what exactly we're doing in the bathroom because I just feel like we're so like scattered on the ideas of it. I have a lot of really fun ideas, but I can't do them all. I think we should do both. I think we should do the stencil behind the mirror, and we should do the board and that. Because the other option would be to do, like, paint, like, a darker color somewhere on one of the walls, or... What about a darker stencil behind the mirror? Mm. It might not be bad to bring some dark into that, but it's also a small room it would get. It is hard. It's just we'll so do... neon. You can't even be in there right now. I know. Right now it's, it's hard off. to make any decisions. Yeah. The mirror has like a wood outline. The circle mirror? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think we'll do black for the hardware. Okay. And like the faucet. And the light, faucet. The light fixture and the hardware and stuff. Yeah. Okay. So I think that'll be dark. And then my plan is to bring in like some plants, maybe like a warm colored picture. Okay. My other thought is like with the vanity. I'm, just, just, I'm so you're torn. You're having such a hard time on I this know. one. Well, I'm so torn on the vanity because it's like I don't really want to do just like white because it's like we'll have a light wall, then white board and bat, and then white vanity. Yeah, light stencil. Yeah, light stencil. But then it's like if you do a dark vanity, then the black doesn't really work as well. Right. Like the black hardware and things like that. But then I also don't want to have that bathroom be like totally different from all the rest as far as the hardware goes because everywhere else like we've kind of planned and we have done yeah. the dark like black like that's what we have in the kitchen that's what we have downstairs in the bathroom we've done we've done down there so many things it's like dragging <laughs> my mind nuts i think it'd be great what would be great the stencil yeah. behind the mirror mm -hmm. and then you do the board and batten on the other wall and you paint the vanity white i would paint the vanity white well, what else would you paint it other than like a like light. a like a brown, like taupey kind of color. Are you talking about the cabinets? Mm -hmm. uh, but I feel like that color really goes well with gold. Yeah. The other thing that I'm curious about is our plan to do the kitchen is coming up and we're planning to paint the island, like level the island, paint the island the same color as the built-ins and paint the outside, like the outer cabinets, white and we have the pale oak in there so it almost like makes me want to do kind of a similar thing in the bathroom to see on a smaller scale how it's going to look and see if we're like no it's too simple we don't like that or you know i think we should do that i think we should paint it white i thought that was already decided it was oh. but i've gone back and forth in my mind like 20 times today <laughs> okay i say last i thought if we're painting it white yeah that was the plan decision made boom done all right cabinets are white well 
go to Home Depot and get all the things done. <laughs> well, Kyle. I know. I just have like so many ideas. And yeah. it's hard to pick and like figure out which ones want to go together best. It'll be good. Let's talk. Meet me at the avenue. You'll need to cook the whole like wall. It'd probably be it probably be at least one tube, huh? Yeah, you probably one. Light. Yeah. Extreme stretch. Six hundred percent stretch. <laughs> nice. Yeah. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> it's the one that you use, right? A lot. Yeah, actually I wonder if we should just grab one of those. Patch. I don't think you have any more of that. Yeah, let's just grab one of these and then it's super handy. Um I have to come back for wood anyway. Yeah. So we'll get this. Um, what about wood for that shelf? That could be kind of cool. And I thought like even if it's rough, like we can just sand it down and stain it. Yeah. This actually could work even though it's 60 for this big piece. It's really nice size. And we're debating if we're gonna do two shelves or three. So if we did like that, like we could definitely get three and maybe even have leftover for something else. And then it would make each shelf like, you know, I don't know, 15 to $20 or maybe less depending how many shelves you got out of it. Uh, yeah, I feel like that's it. This stuff's a little pricey, 18 bucks a board. Yeah. And you would need- But you could get, I bet you could do it with- Two or three boards maybe? Two or three, yeah. Still, it's like 60 bucks. Yeah. Which isn't, I mean, for the effect it's worth it, but- Yeah. What is this one? <clears throat> oh, this is Prime MDF? Yeah, it's skinny. No, like right one in there, it's $13. Yeah. Yeah, it's thinner. So we could see like how we'll measure at home exactly what we need and then... I would probably think... That? I would probably think four inches. There's this one too. It's seven fifty each. Alright, we're looking for quarter round. Here it is. And it doesn't matter because we'll just paint it white. So why don't you tell them what we're planning to do with this. Okay, so we have the piece of MDF we're going to cut. It's wide and it goes down the wall like this. Mm -hmm. But the weird, the, the thing is... Our baseboards Our baseboards are, are skinny at the top. Yeah, so like they piece, curve into the wall right. at an angle. So like you'd have a skinny baseboard right here, you have a piece of MDF that comes out, and then it would look unfinished. Yeah, because the because it would be, be like a, a square end. right here right. against like a little tiny right. baseboard. Right. right, so you put a piece of quarter around, so the, the flat piece of MDF comes right here, and then this and curves in flush. nice to the baseboard. Yeah. All right, we're also looking for sure? plants. Yeah, this is a ZZ plant. So a ZZ plant could be good, this but I really, like, I know that it's sure like so, yeah, it's just how they are. It feels like plastic. Yeah, that's a ZZ plant. Yeah. See, ZZ plant, easy plant to grow. ZZ. Yep. Look, I've never seen one of these. It's like either super dark or like black almost. That's crazy. Monstera. So I'm gonna get a smaller snake plant. So I wanna get just like some simple, easy growers. That's so, okay. I know. Okay. So tiny. Cadbury too? That's a snake Actually, plant. I need to do a Cadbury update. Yeah, Cadbury's still alive and going. You won't like this one either, it's a rubber. It's literally a rubber plant. Like it's fake? Rubber, no, or it's, it's like real. A that's plant what it's. That makes rubber. It's called a rubber plant, or well, I don't know if that's like its technical name, but yeah, rubber plant. It feels fake. Yeah, it does. Or fake plants are so good they feel real. <laughs> it's the, not that one. Okay, so I'm thinking like maybe the. Well, I don't know. There are so many birds in here. Look, look how many birds. There's one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's like 20 birds. Literally flying around inside. Yeah. <laughs> you see all them? <laughs> there are there so, are so many, many birds. birds. And it's six dollars, and we get one of these. I'm just wanting to choose something that I think will be like. Easy, and I have one of these, and I haven't killed it in like 
a really long time. There they are. Here's the hanging plant. Oh, they're hanging up? Yeah. Hey, buddy, you want to come home and die with us? I've kept, I have kept most of my plants life. Okay, here's my trick is you never buy plants from a nursery because they take way too good care of them. You need to <laughs> go to a place like Walmart, Home Depot's like a little in the middle. Where it's not their specialty taking care of plants and if they survive there, they have a good chance of surviving with you. It's like you gotta rough them up a little bit, make them tough. <laughs> yeah. They're so pretty. Like this will look so pretty on a shelf, huh? Beautiful. You're going to be so nice. Oh, little prank. See, I think it's like the same kind, but this is a little baby. Yeah. So you're going to come home with us. Actually, that could be cool to put a plant in the ceiling by the window. Yeah, I thought about it. Actually, hanging one like could be cool. Maybe, maybe a hanging one or maybe just take it and put it into a different pot and then put it on the shelf and have it like draping down the shelf. Oh, yeah, that'd be cool. So it should get plenty of sunlight there. I usually buckle them. Want me to buckle him? Yeah, and the snake guy. <laughs> Careful, little guys. <laughs> it's a dangerous world out there. You know, the funny part is we do this and then take them home and kill them. <laughs> like, they'll be dead in a month. Okay, that's not true. You have, like, zero faith in my plant yeah, keeping alive skills. I've no, done pretty good. We're on the same page when it comes to that. I have done pretty good. Alright, we are at Home Goods and TJ Maxx to look for like trash can towels, just little things. Kyle's dancing <laughs> to the music. Okay, we're trying to be prepared, but I'm wondering if we should actually like come back once we get the shell of the bathroom done and then pick any like accessories if we need them um, first. But we are gonna look at mirrors just in case they have something for a good deal that's better than the one that we have, but I think we're still gonna go with ours. This is a really good size mirror. It's a hundred. It's so pretty. It's like a lighter wood. It's $49, but it's a 29 inch. Or should we do darker? Because ours is darker. Because we already will have a lot of light things in there. Ours has that like fat lip on the bottom. This is more simple. Yeah, it is more simple. This is really cool. I really like this. It has like some difference. My thought at first was to go lighter, but I think darker is like coming more in style so actually. So we're gonna go with the pale oak on the back and then the, the stencil is gonna be... Yeah, so I wonder if the light, the dark yeah, might be best. Room, yeah. But we'll keep that in mind in case like we put it up and the other one doesn't work good. Yeah, good enough. We are at Costco. Kyle's finding his Costco card on his phone. But we need to go in here for like a few grocery items. So it's partially just running an errand. Anyway, my brother had gotten a kit for like 15 bucks or something at their Costco in Montana. And it has like all the things that we're needing to paint the vanity. So I think it's gonna be cheaper here since we have to go here anyway. But there was one other big thing that we need here, but hopefully we'll remember by the time we get inside. We'll it, see. It's 70 degrees out here. It feels so good. It is nice, like Arizona winter again. Yeah, it's been finally. really chilly here, like 50s. We've been hating it. <laughs> <laughs> hating. It's been terrible. Hating it. This is the paint set. It has all the amazing things in there. 22 bucks. Yep. And it has like 
a bunch of nice paintbrushes. It has this paint. I don't remember all the things. <laughs> it's a lot of it's stuff. A it was amazing. Stir bar. A stir. Oh yeah, stir bar. This thing saves all your paint. It was just. Oh, there's a picture of it. It has a ton of things. I might need to get a different brush, I guess. No. Is that a foam brush? Uh, no, that's not. That's a nap. That's what I used. Also, this is not their best price, but it's still a better price than at the store if you are love, like me and love these command strips. Um, but sometimes they go down to $9.99, so that's definitely when we like to come stock up on them. That's what I was talking about, the Even convenience. Take your Costco order home. Take your whole Costco order and seven people and all their stuff and still have room left over <laughs> while driving comfortably. You see this? You all know? you have to do is this? give up your dignity. You see these? Right in. <laughs> You're coolest. You see these oranges? Don't, Kyle. <laughs> home the boys just got back but I figured I would share a quick little Costco haul it's been forever since we've done a Costco haul because we honestly haven't even been there in several months we didn't end up getting like a whole ton of stuff while we were out but we did mostly like when we were in Home Depot we did make good plans for the board and batten like Kyle's gonna have to go back with his truck and get those things but now he knows exactly like what we're wanting to get from there so it'll be like a quick you know, probably for him, like a 15 minute trip. For me, I would still have to browse the aisles, but for him, like he'll do that very quick. I do have my list on my phone and I always get questions about what app I use. Like whenever I have like my screen cleaning or checklist or whatever, it's just the reminders app on iPhone. And I love it because you're able to have a bunch of different lists. You can categorize them and then you can just have, I don't know, a bunch of different tabs. You should mess around with it. You have an iPhone, it's awesome. But anyway, on here, I do have the paint for the vanity. And then we did get the brush roller that I'll just show you in a minute, but we did get that from Costco. We also ordered from Amazon a black faucet and I'll put on the screen right here, like the different ones that we got. So you can kind of get a little sneak peek of what we're gonna do. We also went to our storage unit and picked up our round mirror, ordered a light fixture from Amazon. I got like a little pack of hand towel holders, toilet paper holder and things like that, all that stuff. So we ordered that from Amazon. I also ordered like a little runner rug, the same kind as this. So it's a really thin, technically an outdoor rug, but they're perfect in areas where you're gonna want to wash them a lot and you don't want them to be like a full on rug rug. So anyway, I think that's gonna be perfect in there. And then I'm just gonna hand paint the stencil. I already have the paint for that. We also picked up those pretty plants over there from Home Depot. Any kind of decor, we'll just pick once we get like the shell of the bathroom all done. We might not even need to go get that stuff because we do have a lot of things like leftover stuff from makeovers and things like that that we might be able to use. So anyway, let me show you what we got at Costco. Okay, so we got some muffins. The boys and Kyle love these muffins. I don't eat them because they're gluten and all that goodness. What we usually do is we will actually freeze a pack of these. We'll usually cut these in half and then enjoy those. We got these five cheese tortellini. This is another thing I won't eat, but the boys and Kyle love them. 
We got some more vitamins, they were on sale. Picked up one thing of these because we're all out and like I said, even though it's not their best deal, it's still way better than Walmart. And then we got this paint set. It comes with all of those things. So instead of having to buy like multiple rollers and or multiple paint brushes and like all this different stuff, it just comes with all of it in that kit. I also got these. Everyone loves to snack on those. These for the boys' snacks. This I have never gotten before, but this is just like, I think it's a two pack of soup and it's paleo. So it's gluten-free, dairy-free. And I didn't try it, but it looks right up my alley. I also got this because green chili soup. They were sampling this and this is a little spicy, but so yummy. So on the night when, you know, everyone else is having this kind of stuff, I can just heat this up for myself. We also got these, we've never had these. This is the hot dog brand that we get. And I thought the boys would love this again, like on a crazy, you know, busy night when we don't have time for full meals and cooking. This would be easy to pop in the air fryer and heat up. And then we've never had this. This would be something that probably just Kyle, maybe Luke might enjoy also, but this we can just pop in the air fryer and they looked so yummy. I'm kind of jealous that I can't have those ones. We got some pepperoni pizza, super easy. We actually love having pizzas, like frozen pizzas after church on Sunday. And then we just don't have to spend time in the kitchen after everyone's hungry. So then we got some oranges just for snacking. I got some spring mix for salads, so I don't have to cut that up this week and prep that out. Some frozen mangoes just to add into smoothies. I got some little personal watermelons. I love having these as like a dessert, like I'll cut it in half and just have a half as a dessert. But I've gotten them from Walmart recently and they just, I don't know, the last two have been kind of iffy so I figured we'll give these ones a try. Some green beans just for cooking with dinner. Celery, my favorite go-to raw snack, like raw veggie snack and we are all out. So I got some of those, some mixed bell peppers. These are always the best deal to get at Costco. We got some strawberries. Liam specifically has been asking for these like crazy. Uh, we also got some hot dogs. These we actually just will pop in the freezer because we're not going to go through all of these. We have never ever tried these before. Paleo chicken breakfast sausages. And I thought these would be great to pop in the air fryer and just heat up with breakfast one day. These are my favorite paleo sausages. I love these and this comes in a three pack. You can buy these from Walmart, but I think they're just a little bit cheaper if you get them from Costco. And then we've gotten these before and they're really nice just to pop in the air fryer for a few minutes. These are great for lunches. So it just comes in a two pack and usually Kyle and I will like split one with some veggies for a lunch. And then this fully cooked bacon, this stuff is amazing. It's just super nice. You pop in the microwave for like one minute and you're good to go. So that is everything that we got from Costco today. Oh, also I forgot to mention, I don't know if I've just missed it or if there's like a huge egg shortage, but the eggs at our grocery store have been like crazy expensive, like almost $7 for 18 of them where they used to be like, you know, $3 maybe. So it's over doubled in price. So when we went to Costco, that was one of the big things that I wanted to get there was like a whole big pallet of eggs and just store them in the fridge. And I did not see a single set of eggs or even like where the eggs should be. So I don't know if I totally missed it, but I wish there were eggs in this haul. Unfortunately, they're not. So it is a couple of days later, I think two days later, and we're actually about to head upstairs and start working on the bathroom. But we did have a few things come in from Amazon, so I wanted to show you what we ended up picking out. I'm not gonna take this one out of the box, but you can see what this looks like. This is the light we picked, and it just has like a matte black finish, and I love like the bar behind it. It has some curves, which is fun. Then this is the runner rug that I got. It's actually an outdoor rug, which is perfect because it's really thin. It's not gonna get caught up on the vacuum or anything that goes in there. Because that's a half bath, it doesn't need like a really absorbent rug. So that's gonna be so pretty. I also got this cabinet hardware. It kind of matches our kitchen, but it's not rounded. So we're gonna do these in all the bathrooms and I love it. Hello, Felix. Okay, then over here, this is just a sink stopper that I have. This is like a hardware set, so it has a little towel hook, a hand towel holder, a toilet paper holder, and the towel bar. And I loved that these were just like squared off. I don't know, I just really love that look. I feel like it's really modern, kind of timeless. And then this is the, oops. 
this is the faucet that we ordered. I think that is gonna look so cool. So it'll just kind of like pour out. And thankfully we do have a hard water system or a water softener, I guess. And so hopefully it won't, you know, leave a lot of hard water on it, but we shall see. Anyway, this will look so, so pretty. So that is what I ordered from Amazon so far. And we're just going to start today by taking everything down, like repairing the wall areas that need repaired, taking the mirror down. And then I'm mostly gonna be doing a lot of painting. So I already have my paint pants on, which I will definitely need because we're painting every single wall. I'm gonna be stenciling behind. Oh, I decided I am gonna be stenciling behind the mirror. And then I'm also gonna be painting all the cabinets. So. We have like a ton of paint to do. We're also gonna be doing the DIY shelves. Like we just have a lot in there, but it's gonna be so much better. So thank you guys for hanging out with us today. I hope you enjoyed our random Costco haul and just seeing some of the behind the scenes prep to a makeover. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and we will see you in the next one. Bye guys.